In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. You're very welcome here as we gather at the Grotto in Lourdes to celebrate our Eucharist together. In this Mass, we are the Irish Franciscan pilgrimage, also joined by Eileen Irwin and a pilgrimage group from the city of Limerick in Ireland. And on behalf of all of the Franciscan family worldwide, we welcome you. We are here to pray for one another and for those whose prayers we carry here in our hearts. As we do at the beginning of every Eucharist, we come before God who is always loving us, always forgiving us. And we ask today for that great love and that great mercy which only he can give. And so we pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the Book of Israel. King Darius issued an order to the officials of the West of Euphrates. Let the governor and the elders of the Jews continue the work on that house of God. They are to rebuild it on its former site. I also issued this decree concerning your dealings with the elders of the Jews. In the rebuilding of that house of God, from the royal revenue, the taxes of West Eurovites. Let these men be repaid for their expenses in full and without delay. I, Darius, have issued this degree. Let it be carefully executed. The elders of the Jews continued to make progress in the buildings, supported by the message of the prophets, Haya and Zechariah, son of Edo. They finished the building according to the command of God of Israel. 
and the degrees of, of Cyprus. The children of Israel, priests, Levites, and the others returned exiles, celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy. The dedication, 100 bulls, 200 rams, and 400 lambs, together with 12 he goats as a sin offering for all Israel, in keeping with the number of the tribes of Israel. Finally, they set up the priest in their classes and the Levites in their division for the service of God in Jerusalem, as is prescribed in the book of Moses. The exiles kept the Passover on the 14th day of, this, of the month. The Levites, of one whom had purified himself for the occasion, sacrificed the Passover for the rest of the exiles, for the brethren, the priest, and for themselves. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Responsorial Psalm, let us rejoice to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set a foot within the, our, your gates of Jerusalem. Response? I rejoice because they let us go to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To the tribes go up, the tribes to the Lord. Response? Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the degree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord in our set up judgment seats for seats house of David. Response, let us go rejoice into the house of the Lord. So again, the gospel acclamation, sorry. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Back on the 2nd of March in 1858, almost 2,000 people had gathered here at the grotto before Bernadette arrived. Bernadette knelt down with a candle in one hand and her rosary in the other, and she began to pray. And when Bernadette's face lit up with this wonderful, beautiful smile, the people knew that Mary, our Blessed Mother, 
was indeed present. We gather here today in 2023 as the Irish Franciscan pilgrimage, and we too have smiles on our faces for two reasons. Firstly, because we simply love coming here to Lourdes year after year with our staff, our assisted pilgrims. But we are especially happy and smiling this year because our assisted pilgrims are with us once more. And we are grateful for this moment. We come here praying for our families and friends and we take their prayers and intercessions and place them before the grotto at Lourdes today. As we all know, coming to Lourdes is not just about ourselves. It is about others. When Bernadette received her mission from Our Lady to go and tell the priest that a chapel should be built here and the people should come in procession, the encounters between Bernadette and Our Lady were no longer just for Bernadette alone. The encounters now were to be shared with others. The people were to come and experience this little piece of heaven for themselves. The gospel today that we just heard reminds us that we are all brothers and sisters of Jesus. The message that Jesus Christ transmitted during his time in Galilee was a message of unity and inclusion, a message of compassion, of healing, and of mercy. No one is to be left out of God's family. As Franciscans, this aspect of the message of Jesus is especially true since Francis of Assisi saw all of God's creation as brothers and sisters in Christ. The word made flesh came among us to reassure us that God is indeed close to each one of us. So as we make our pilgrimage here in these days, we do so joyfully and with hearts that are overflowing with the prayers and intentions of those family members and friends that we carry in our hearts. Our prayer is one of unity and togetherness, trusting in Jesus, our brother, and Mary, his and our mother. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, Saint Francis of Assisi, Amen. And so together now we stand and we bring our prayers before God, our Heavenly Father. As you stood at the foot of the cross, your heart, Mary, was pierced with a sword. Now standing in faith with you, we bring our prayers to the Father of mercies. We pray for the church across the world, for Pope Francis and all who lead us in faith, that God's Holy Spirit may strengthen us in living the gospel message. Lord, hear us. As Mary said yes to God's plan for her life, 
We pray that we too may be able to trust in God's plan for our own lives, abandoning ourselves into his care. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus. Mary traveled to greet her cousin Elizabeth with joy. We pray that we may be bearers of joy to all we meet on the road of life. Lord, hear us. Lord, As we gather in this holy sanctuary of Lourdes, we ask for God's healing in mind, body, and spirit. We remember those who have asked for our prayers here, and we commend the story of their lives to God's healing and merciful love. Lord, hear us. At every Mass, we come with some private prayer or intention that only exists between God and ourselves. So in a moment of silent prayer now, whatever that intention is, let's bring it before God, our Father. Lord, hear us. And we invoke Mary's intercession as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we entrust ourselves to you during these days of pilgrimage. May we be one in spirit as we come to honor the feast of Mary, your mother. We implore her now to take our prayers to you, and we make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our next hymn is on page 22, number 16. I'll sing a hymn to Mary. Please all join in. Thank you. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have saved. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis, Saint Clare, Saint Bernadette, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And as brothers and sisters in Christ, now we stand, we gather all our prayers into the prayer of Jesus as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And in whatever way we can, let's share Christ's peace together. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb Behold the Lamb of God. This is Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
our two hymns for the communion. The first hymn is on page 20, number 10, Eat This Bread. Our second hymn for communion on page 23, number 17, Kate me the five to rope. Please all join in. Thank you.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being with us to celebrate our Eucharist together at the Grotto in Lourdes this morning. Thank you to our brother Friars, Porig, Billy, and Frank and my brother priests behind me, to Mr. Jared Gillen, our organist, to John Curry, our cantor and our singers, to Eileen Irwin and her readers, and to each and every one of you for being here. We wish you all the best for the rest of our pilgrimage. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace now, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Please all join in in our outgoing hymn, page 18, hymn number three, The Bells of the Angels. Mm -hmm. 